And we are back. Know Your Politician is not just another political platform. It's a solution to becoming more knowledgeable and engaged with your local politics in an easy and a digestible way. Joining me now is the co-founder of Know Your Politician, Evan Higgins. And uh, first of all, I want to wish you a happy birthday. Oh, thank Congratulations. You. Thank, thank you. you for spending your birthday with me. I feel honored. No, thanks. Thanks for having me. Listen, it's great to have you. I want to talk a little bit about this because as we approach these elections, this is probably one of the most important and crucial elections, not just in national government, but also in local government as well. We find that so many times that voter turnout isn't what it is. Um, and sometimes people who have a propensity of being that favorite now turns into, you know, being a person that's at home simply because they fail to engage with their constituency. And I know it's a little bit about what you do with Know Your Politician, really connecting politicians, or not even politicians, community to the politicians. Right, exactly. So we started the platform in 2020. It was an idea. Um, watching people protest in the streets with George Floyd, it was magical to see, but we felt that there needed to be more direct action than putting our bodies on the line. Mm -hmm. So my co-founder Kabir and I, we decided to bring up this idea we had way back in 2016 about how can we be able to learn about our officials in a way that 30 seconds or less, I can get a quick spiel around what this person stands for, who represents them in my area, and what's gonna be on my ballot in the upcoming election. Is that what people really are listening, wanting to know in terms of the public because there's that big disconnect there and they don't know their politician what is it do you think makes the difference for a community member to know about their elected leader even though we know the elected leader is elected to serve the community and that's and and and, and that bridge there needs to be built when we started focus group testing the app one of the main things that we stumbled upon was just a lack of education people didn't even know where to start and there was this constant comment around feeling overwhelmed, and that's why people disengage. You see it in all walks of life, right? When you feel overwhelmed in something, people decide, you know what, I'm not gonna engage because I don't wanna spend the time or energy. So Know Your Politician is about saving that time, not only helping you understand who your elected officials are, but educating you. One of the most interesting things that I learned in talking to electeds about this platform is how easily accessible they are and how that access can shift the Overton window on a whole host of issues. One person I spoke to in Massachusetts frequently referenced um, the Boston election race a few years ago. The difference between first and second place was less than 3,000 votes. Mm -hmm. the, all it took was to get 3,000 people to the polls and you could have shifted an entire outcome of an election. And what we wanna do here at Know Your Politician is be able to connect those people that have the ability to shift the um, elected's point of view on topics by showing them, hey, these people are easily accessible. When we look at people on TV, we constantly think that, you know, there's aura, celebrity around them, but actually our electeds are normal people just like us. They have phone numbers, they have email addresses, and our platform can connect you with them so you can address your concerns directly with your elected. You know, as we get ready to talk about this upcoming election, it's going to be a lot of all eyes uh, on the community, whether or not that turnout is actually going to be there. From your perspective, the impact, if you will, of really uh, coming out and voting in a time such as this. Well, I personally think that voting is the easily the most important thing that we can do as a society. That's why there's been pushed throughout the decades to have women vote, have people of color vote, because our ability to vote, no matter how much money is spent on elections, those people still need to vote. And those dollars are aimed at reaching us. So at the end of the day, no matter how they can raise millions and millions of dollars as a candidate, they still require your vote. Mm -hmm. And that means that you have sway and you have power and you need a way to harness that. And our, our thesis is by educating you, you can then figure out the best ways to harness that power. I mean, a little while ago, you, re you referenced George Floyd and how huge those protests were. People coming out uh, in mass droves nationally, internationally, uh, and the response that it generated, but not just the response that it generated, but the, the effect and the change that occurred as opposed to people taking to the streets. Um, when you're out there right now and you're looking and seeing still what's going on in the community, um, talk to me about that engagement, that civic engagement, because Part of your job is also, you know, sharing with people about the importance of civic engagement. Yeah, I think, 
what we've been finding is as national issues crop up, the last one that I can think about was the Roe v. Wade issue, and now you're seeing it with um, the protests on um, Colombia around the, um, the U.S. approach to Palestine and Israel. What you're seeing is these moments are like flash pans that cause people to understand what are my elected officials doing. So in George Floyd, right, when people were protesting, something that really caught my eye was that a lot of people were basically doxing the candidates to say, hey, you're coming out and saying that you, that you are supporting the protest, but then you took money from the Police Benevolence Association. Those and those two ideas conflict with each other. And it's to me, those moments are what push to get greater legislation done because that's how you hold our electeds accountable. Yes, it's important to march, but it's marching plus making sure you understand how the system works so you can use it to your advantage. You talked about something real important, who's donating the campaign. That's really critical. Sometimes we don't even know right. that, that who, who's donating to a campaign. Um, how do you go about educating your constituents in the community to say, listen, it's important to know that these people have donated to this campaign and these two things don't really go together. Well, on our roadmap, what we want to do is be able to integrate the candidate profile with donation data. So these data, this information is publicly available for everyone to consume. It's just obviously it's very large. Mm -hmm. So um, what we want to be able to do is be able to connect it to our system so that when users come to the platform, they can see who are the top contributors to um, a candidate or an election campaign. And then we're hoping that by seeing that information and looking at the position of the um, elected, you can then see, hey, if I am pro-choice, I should be receiving money from Planned Parenthood and other organizations that support pro-choice and not organizations that are against it, right? We don't want to tell you who to vote for, but we want to present the information so that you can make the connection. And by having you make the connection, it's, gen it's more genuine, right? Because if someone tells you something, you're gonna be like, uh, you know, like, that's just their opinion, that's just how they feel. Yeah. What's the response you've gotten on both sides? Um, it's, it's been positive. Like, everyone agrees, no matter what, whether you're left-leaning or right-leaning, that this is necessary. That no one understands the elected process. Everyone feels that it's not as transparent. And quite frankly, it's difficult to understand and get information to be ready to go to the polls. So everyone has been super supportive of the platform, whether they're leaning right or left. Yeah. For people who want to get the app, talk to us about it. Yeah, so you can go to our website. It's timetokyp.com. You just go there, enter your address. For those folks that are watching that aren't in the five boroughs, it's available across the United States as well. Evan, want well, thank you so much for joining us. No, thank you for having me. And again, happy birthday. And keep up the great work, brother. Thanks, appreciate it. All righty. Now listen, again, if you want more information, go ahead and visit the website, timetokyp.com, and then follow them on social media at time 2 KYP. Don't go anywhere. We got more open coming up right after this.